Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So today's reading is going to be all about your person's realizations about your connection. We're going to find out what type of breakthrough they've had during this full moon. We're going to try to understand what are their thoughts and feelings. So we have four piles from the left to right. Pause if you need a little longer. Pick the one which calls your name the most. And I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello pile number one. If you chose the card of moon. Satisfy emotional needs, nurture self and others. So I am getting a sense of emotional negligence or maybe this person they seem to have thoughts around the fact that they did not they did not care for your feelings in this situation as much as they should have I feel like there's a sense of recognition about the fact that they should have thought more about you. And then we have the full moon literally over here. So you should be assured that this person has really been through the motions and still is going through it. It's the aftermath of the full moon as well so we have zombie in control so this seems like because we control out of fear uh, the illusion of fear They could have really neglected your feelings. Whatever the situation transpired in was a lot around the fact that they did not pay much attention to you. They didn't think about whatever they're doing, how is it going to impact you? This is the type of energy where somebody is just on and about and they're just doing things and they don't recognize how it may be impacting another person. Two of Wands. Page of Cups. The Sun. Page of Swords. Page of Wands, my bad. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot, so this person was not focusing on 
the present moment what they had with you or what they have with you they gave a lot of thought effort energy and hard work they put a lot of it into into what they wanted for the future for the both of you so because they do have emotions for you very sweet feelings i'm just trying to channel the right energy so it might take a little while this is a very scattered energy but it's also very linear it is it's like this person understands exactly what they were doing and why they were doing knight of swords is an energy of fast movement thinking a lot about how to make advances in this connection their intention was could be correct was right they wanted something with you and they in fact they wanted it very quickly they didn't want to wait but i think a part of this was that they were looking too much in the future neglecting the present moment thinking about what they would have with you in the future and what all they need to this is a very masculine person this is not about gender they just have a very masculine energy so they have spent a lot of time thinking about how they can have this in reality rather than focusing upon what they have in the present moment with you and that is what i feel like could have caused you to really feel alone in this relationship because even though their intention was right the method that was used was wrong because they might have been spending a lot of time at work they might have been just trying to i keep hearing the word advancement two of wands is this energy of looking in the future page of cups could be this energy of bread crumbing or not even paying attention but having those feelings and finally realizing having an aha moment having a realization like oh this is what i was doing the sun energy this is leo so i'm picking up fourth house root so their stability and the way that they were brought up was triggered by this connection so this could have resulted in immature patterns in be in communication majorly page of wands they they took a very naive approach towards you um with the page and the knights it's like we have two knights and then we have two pages and I just don't think they were thinking clearly and I think that the way I'm channeling is 100% related with how they really feel. They've done some tangible damage to this connection wanting to have it in the future. They have had some sort of realization that this could have really hurt you their behavior could have made you feel like they're not serious about you they're not consistent and i also feel like to a degree this could have given you the impression that this person is not serious about me they're not interested in me because the thing is that they were using this connection as a fuel to 
secure themselves and what would make them feel worthy of you that would be career that would be money that is some sort of physical attainment that this person requires um in the way in which they have been brought up um it's deeply subconscious and that has come to the surface something that which is very common in fact you know um wanting to have stability how they're taught mainly how men are taught and now it's not even just men it's women as well that you should have your you should have an established career before you settle down and that's what this person had in mind even though they had strong feelings and this like the word that i want to say strong feelings for the future outcome of this connection they are very much attached to the future of it and how they imagined it to be that it resulted in them neglecting you in the present moment which has, has really affected them because of the moon card over here itself and control is somewhere where this person may have had a tower moment realizing that in this moment that they have left you alone it also leads to the possibility of you going and finding somebody else that at least is more nurturing towards you that fulfills your needs where they thought this is what they needed and they were pursuing it relentlessly even though the intention was right and they were not they didn't have anybody else in their mind i think that the fact that they fumbled it somewhere in the present moment is something that this person really really feels bad about and also somewhere feels like they have to apologize there's something that happened over here that they feel like it can't be taken back now and since they put themselves first they feel like it's also understandable if you now tell them that i'm putting myself first now um in whichever way that means it's like if you want to leave them if you want to be with someone that's more attentive to you if you um just don't want to if you're not feeling like you want to participate in this right now that's what i feel there's a sense of recognition and realization that i have neglected them so much in the present moment with what i have that now i may have given them too much space to think that i'm not that serious about them it's like i heard the word resistance so they were resisting diving deep into this self-worth wound and they were trying to mask it more by attaining i don't know money there's something that they physically really wanted to prove to themselves that they're worthy of you and in that pursuit they might have just lost you nine of cups because they made you really unhappy with the behavior and they were not happy with themselves um it comes across as being quite selfish ten of cups not only are they unhappy but they feel like they have also lost this dream like imagine the irony of the situation that you're doing all of this to be with one person but you've disappointed that person what you were but there's a double edged sword over here because it's like their work or whatever they were pursuing was also important for them so it seemed like a loose loose situation nobody won over here it see it seems like um there's deep deep sadness or i would rather say unhappiness in a sense that this is just not happening the way i thought it would have because they were trying to control the whole narrative according to their own will which is not how things really work out right um again is of pentacles is of wands they were pursuing something using your connection as a motivation to derive a personal outcome but it was not completely inclusive of your feelings that's the whole gist of this i think that it at narrows down to the fact that they didn't keep your they didn't take your feelings in consideration 
growing pains, healing patients, unconsciousness. Again, this was something that was truly unconscious. This was something that they did not realize until now that they were doing this. I think that forgiveness is required over here. That's what I keep hearing. Forgiveness, like you can forgive this person. Now that's completely up to you. But this is a suggestion that I hear from the spirit that you can forgive this person. Um, there's almost this sense of understanding that people do tend to make mistakes and when you're in relationships, it's possible that sometimes people don't know how to behave and they are not purposely trying to hurt you. They just do make mistakes and this does seem like one of those moments where your person was generally not aware of why they're doing what they're doing and it definitely it definitely came out of a fear of loss or abandonment that if they don't have this they will eventually lose you but the whole process of it seems as if like somewhere they might have lost your trust or they don't feel like they have control over this or it's almost like this feeling of inadequacy that has resurfaced for them they're feeling like now you're not going to trust them or they've lost some credibility in your eyes or they don't know what you're going to do about this because this seems like a silent realization like i'm not sure but for a few of you it seems like you didn't say much but they just feel like you're distant like they feel some sort of energetic change over here like in the way you approach them or the way that you talk to them or if this is just energy they feel like you've taken your energy away from this connection because i feel like the full moon realization is also about this deep subconscious part where they thought that you would keep needing them and this was not from a malicious intent it was because the connection was probably so strong they thought that we will get through the test of times but they are having this very realistic approach now or like you know almost when a balloon bursts the bubble has bursted so they're realizing that it's been a while. I haven't done much to show them how I feel. I haven't, or maybe I haven't done anything to show them how I really feel. And they're like, it kind of makes sense if they're walking away because wh why would they stay when I'm a work in a progress and I'm not giving them much to really hold on to? Yeah, they didn't express how they feel. Wow, do you see this? We have na number 19 from both decks. I was trying to see if the zombie card also had. I heard eternal love because the connection was so strong. They kind of thought that you're just gonna stick around like not again not in a way where i feel like they felt entitled or they were you know devious about it or something like that there's just a sense of like you i feel so much for you and it drives me so much that you're the only one that i see and it's like this person might have thought before there's also this sense of a little bit of defending themselves thinking like but i'm not looking at anybody else i'm literally just focused on my work or whatever this is that they need and they're kind of like they didn't realize that just because they didn't do anything bad it doesn't mean that it can't hurt you and this for some of you this just seems like a silent realization you didn't say much it could be possible that they're in separation and they had other things to focus upon that required their attention but there's also a part of like a truth factor that has been revealed to them that but did you try it's almost the sense of like but did you try 
you try to at least let them know how you really feel about them if this is a no contact by it. now what i feel deep inside this person will tell you that i have been going through a rough time i think this message is coming from their higher self it's not their 3d self i think they would tell you the higher self would tell you that i've been going through a really rough time and i can only tell you now this is from the higher self so i can only tell you that you you can begin to forgive me because i am a human i'm not perfect and i have nothing but love in my heart for you and i it is only genuinely inspired me to better myself it's like i got carried away with how much and what i need to be for you in order to have you and this is almost the energy of someone that is trying very hard to be the one that they think you deserve i don't think this person intended for this to play out in the manner it did i just keep hearing but i just keep hearing oh well cancer i knew this was going to come out this is not your comfort and protection this is someone that feels very very deep feelings for you they show a fraction of it this is a nurturing motherly energy I feel like this moon has definitely pushed them into more feminine state of being which means that it's not just related to you it's related to a lot of things that we use with the fertility of a feminine energy this is purified this full moon has really purified certain parts of your person which they were operating out of just a pure survival mode i got to get this done i got to get that done because if i don't i'm inacceptable to the society and this person is not going to like me there was just this i don't know i heard the word stereotype like they thought that you're high maintenance and they need to have this this that that in order to keep you and afford you whereas i think that there's something about mother nature you know the mother archetype the nurturance of feminine energy teaching them that the things that they can offer to you are priceless they are comfort they are nurturance that is protection that comes naturally to them they don't have to be rich in order to love you basically they have to be rich in their heart so i see this person having some major breakthrough about their feelings for you and um the the thought i was there's this revelation that has happened right which is enabling your person to understand that i can give this to them and this requires more of the internal work looking at ourselves seems more difficult than moving our hands and our legs working hard at something that is labor intensive it is difficult to look at yourself because those things hurt a lot and they might have lost you or the anticipation of losing you is again you are such a big like driving force in this person's life because this seems like a very strong masculine energy that has not felt like this in a really long time you are someone that they want to protect you are someone that they want to give all the comfort and again when i say that their intention was not bad it means that they were working so hard so that they could protect you and keep you comfortable so that you don't have to honestly lift a finger there's a polar po- polarity over here right you might be very feminine they might be very masculine but we do switch roles when we need to in certain phases of our life and this point requires this person to think about what makes them feel like they don't deserve you 
the type of and this person has realized this as well that they can give you some things that are very very priceless their love their comfort the emotional safety that they can provide you the trust vulnerability and intimacy that's what they their perspective is shifting in this scenario you know like somewhere the priority has been realigned is what i pick up see we have leo again bottom of the deck thank you spirit there's a lot of um synchronicities in your pile number 19 10 reduces to 1 it it is possible this is a closing out cycle this is concluding to a very hyper masculine energy it is possible and since this full moon was very fixated on releasing limiting patterns one of them could be that this person is healing hyper masculinity it is like i have to work 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 it's brought them back to a little bit of balance closer to balance moving more towards the feminine side learning rest not having to earn money through um having to earn love through perhaps money money is important but over here they're realizing the they're realizing the priceless aspects of relationships and love love is not measurable right I feel guided to pull out a few channel messages from my self curator oracle deck if you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from this information is given down below. What would this person say? Please take me back. I feel embarrassed about my actions. I'm upset with myself. I lied when I said I didn't have feelings for you. I need more time to myself. I wouldn't forgive you if I pulled a me on you. And one more. I don't feel worthy of your love. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, bottom of the deck I have, I don't want to be neglected. And is it real or in my head? Okay. Pile number one, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated information for personal readings is given down below. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the sixth house, this is going to be your reading on your person's realization. So... Sixth house is strongly related with um, daily routines, our habits, um, probably thought patterns. It's something that we are habitual with. We keep doing it again and again. So this could talk about a specific pattern. Um, I'm picking up on something that is very mental. It could be a limiting belief. It could be a thought pattern. Which of course directs your actions, right? Your behavior. There's something that your person has released. I'm picking up on a feeling of um, not feeling good enough. I'm going to take this one. Connection. Connection and 
I just heard house, house, as in like a home or like a place you live in. House is different than home. I'm going to have to pull a few cards before I speak on what it is about this connection. The first thing that I did here when I opened the card was downplaying your feelings. So it could be that they were somewhere resisting the full extent of their feelings because they thought if they accept their feelings, it would mean that they want to be with you and they wouldn't, they weren't really believing that they could have this with you. Tower energy, Scorpio. So I do believe that this full moon was very heavy on them. I am seeing certain physical physical issues, manifestations of um, a negative thought pattern. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is defeat. I think so low of myself. Moon in reverse. And the five of pentacles. So number five signifies a lot of change. Over here when you're reading, your person is struggling with self-worth, has been struggling with it and I feel like is still learning. I think that for your reading, this is actually about an aha moment or epiphany or something that, that was so blocked. Finally making sense. This is when you put together the pieces of the puzzle or you get another clue about it. Um, this is not exactly like they've done the healing work. This is like they've got to understand a missing piece. Um, five of Swords and Five of Pentacles. This is the energy of feeling like I always get left out in the cold relationships don't really work out for me very well the moon in reverse is a very pessimistic it's a debbie downer energy um in terms of love and connection that's what we're seeing over here so how this ties in is that the universe has broken it down for this person that first of all maybe you did make poor choices in the past but it doesn't mean that everything turns out to be the same like you think it would. So in this situation, I pick up on your person realizing that the way that they were resisting this connection was more based off how they feel about themselves. And Five of Pentacles can also relate with the mother wound that talks about this fear that I feel of getting closer to women. Um... Your person is definitely someone that wants to grow in this connection and they want to evolve in life. Um, and this full moon has really helped them recognize something from their childhood that has They're saying almost always made them feel like they're not good enough. So this could be about parents. But this, I feel like whatever gender your person is, there's something about the mother figure over here. Queen of Cups. Again, this is the mother energy. Um, Queen of Cups represents their own feminine energy is what I feel. Um, The yin energy as well as being in reverse with the tower, this is Scorpio energy. It's almost like 
they never get really close to another person. They've realized this about themselves. Um, and I think this purely, purely comes from their childhood, of course. They don't really get that close to another person. They didn't know in ways which in the ways in which they used to try to protect themselves. Um, they used to subconsciously do these things. But now there's an awareness of how they do these things. Like it's like by pulling away or playing games or um, not being vulnerable. There's different ways people use. Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, I it's like this realization is that I want to let go of my pain. I want to let go of it. I I don't want to be necessarily alone. That's the energy that I pick up. Um, they've had a breakthrough in this. It's like there was a lot of mental clutter. Um. When you're brain fog, you really can't understand what is happening because you're triggered, quite triggered, right? So you don't have mental clarity about what is happening and how you're supposed to feel. The best thing you can do is just wait a bit. So I think that your person has realized, has had an epiphany about the fact that they feel lonely sometimes, right? They do. And the solution over here is not that they stick through it and persevere through the pain. The solution is to go to the opposite end of it and learn to get along with people so that they can heal this loneliness because this is not a loneliness that is coming due to their inability to be by themselves. This is a loneliness that they require um to meet a different version of themselves that allows other people to see them this person is craving real intimacy at this point in their life and the harsh truth is that they are the ones that have pushed away people that have not given people chances eight of cups Three of Swords, the world. Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the Ten of Wands and the Lovers. So I'm going to be honest, okay? This connection has been a burden on them. They have tried to make sense of it and it doesn't make sense to them. They think about you every day and they hold you closely to their heart, but they're not completely open to this connection. They have fears of trusting you and other people in their life. So I feel like with the Eight of Cups energy, this is almost like their realizations are also that they need to let go of their past. Um, Three of Swords is that this person may be really, really hurting right now because when they decided that they need to let go of the past, it means that they have to sit and feel it, right? So right now they have started a new cycle, almost as if um, it could have been that they were running away from what used to hurt them. Now there's this energy of curiosity. I want to know what really bothers me. I want to know what really triggers me. Why do I behave the way I do? So in order to grow, they have understood that they have to understand themselves. They have to understand their triggers. They have to understand the healing procedure. But before that, they're sitting in a very... They're questioning everything. There's a big question mark. Um, and because they're open and so curious, they're actually able to put two and two together. This always happens. Um, there's a sequence to things. You know, we kind of run away from it and then we realize that there's no point running away from it and then we come back to it and then we accept it and then we go through the five stages of grief. 
so this could be someone that has finally stopped has stopped running away from how they used to feel a lot of things this is like a runner archetype you're constantly running away from almost everything that makes you feel uncomfortable you're trying to bury it now there's this sense of and this is pretty big for this person right because this is not a small energy with the moon the tower and the world this is almost like something has forced them um to become a little bit more attentive to their feelings it's like partying going excessively working out or um binge watching tv or too much traveling or just being frivolous or um numbing yourself out there's so many ways in which we try to run away from the truth and sometimes in moderation maybe it's okay to take a break you don't have to keep doing shadow work all the time but this seems like someone that with the house 6 it gives me the energy i can only tell you one thing by number 2 that the more i tap into this energy this feeling of loneliness there's a feeling of like emptiness inside that this person thinks about like who's in my corner and like they have this yearning energy from within that they want another person to know who they really are like they might have a lot of friends they might be introverted they might be extroverted that doesn't it doesn't matter it's just a lot about the fact that they want to be loved and they are feeling at this point that they need to learn to face their past before they step into something new because they're hurting so much from how people have treated them in the past and what they have put themselves through that sometimes they just can't begin to think of being that vulnerable with another person it's almost like till the time they don't make it okay for themselves they won't be able to actually have real intimacy with you they don't understand almost everything but they're doing what they do understand this is their way of figuring things out and the first step that they've taken is that to make peace with their past not run away from it whether it is it's like it's not like they're actively trying to find things that are wrong with them or something like that it's just like the things that they know and they just kind of you know push it away or they brush them off they're trying to be a little more kind with it because they realize that they have to make peace with the past and till then you don't make peace with the past you can't move forward in life you can't see if you don't clear out the past you won't be able to see your future properly so this connection might be on a hold on there and this connection might be something that's sitting on a back burner this may be something that they are not actively pursuing because i can see that there's a lot of emotions that they're dealing with not only his this fear feeling of not feeling good enough a fear of inadequacy um and because of that they might be left out or they might be abandoned and these are feelings from the past and this is how their mindset has been shaped with the five of swords so much negativity things don't work out for me i'm never good enough you know things of that sort so they're really having to think a lot about how do they really feel it's not i think that a lot of their um focus used to be on you how you feel when you're coming around what are you going to do how is it going to make them feel like a lot of this was um heavily fixated on you now it seems like the tower moment tells me that they were trying to find an escape within you in this connection and this seems like everyday overthinking which means that you're constantly um you're running out of your own emotional body basically you're not in the present so you're thinking too much about the future right which creates anxiety you're thinking too much about the future because you want this connection to get going but when you're doing that it's because the present moment is not good enough for you and why they're not able to be in the present moment because the present moment brings out anxiety as well either way is the anxiety was actually stemming from 
all these poor feelings that had accumulated and the divine is really trying to set yourself your set your person free because they have a lot of pain inside um and i i feel like there's a very strong undertone of you know child woundings and relationship with a mother or a father figure in fact but there's just this inability of trusting the opposite gender um it could be that this person really needs to realize what makes them feel unsafe about intimacy what it is because for every person um there's a different experience right for every person there is a different experience that they have i do feel that this person does have a long journey ahead in terms of just understanding themselves more i don't think this person is 100% emotionally available um they don't have to be perfect to be in a relationship but i think that this is just what is happening for them momentarily they might be quite aloof at the moment soul so this is like soul searching the energy of soul activates our connection to that part of us that is closer to the higher realms god or the divine we have authenticity and balance so i think that authenticity has a very deeper meaning to this rather than just being true to yourself it is also this person reminding themselves who they really are with the soul as well this person has a lot of crap in their head basically and i'm not trying to mock them i'm just saying that all of us do and by crap i mean limiting beliefs the way in which we view ourselves thinking almost like we we don't recognize that other people see us good in, as good enough but the only person who doesn't is ourselves so this is almost a recognition of the fact that you think that your person is good enough you love them um you like them and you care for them this person doesn't see that the irony of the situation is where you might have feelings of unworthiness this person sees you as being good enough so the whole irony of the situation is that we don't see ourselves as being good enough and i feel like there is a possibility that a lot of what i said or at a very um minute level is something that you're also going through is something that is being mirrored over here in this situation with your person it's not just them having um some sort of aha moment or some sort of realization that that they are good enough but it's just in their head and it's not easy as it's just in my head you know it's like it's so much work to actually start believing it uh, so that your nervous system actually reflects that so your life actually reflects that so the way that you feel about yourself actually reflects that so the full moon i think that took a toll on this person's body because there was um a very rapid change that they're going through there's almost a sense of something about the heart chakra and the stomach the stomach area so solar plexus is related with your self worth but the heart chakra gives me deep breathing deep breathing or feeling sort of breath something like um this full moon was really working with their heart blockages and it opened up a pandora's box so the moment the heart was vocal enough or was heard enough the mind was able to or it's like basically the body started feeling certain things that maybe the mind had suppressed right so it's like this person started putting two and two together maybe they had flashbacks from their childhood or maybe they read something whichever way it was spirit Uh, the universe conveyed the clue to your person the universe conveyed it to your person that this is probably why you push people away even though you desire so much intimacy 
I'm not saying that this person is immature, okay? Um, it's just in a sense where sometimes people have certain walls that they put up so high that even they don't know how they can break it because they actually feel so much six of pentacles so they could have been stingy with their effort and i think that they're realizing that they need to first of all start giving to themselves ace of swords over here epiphany card again a breakthrough card A lot of things really came to this person's mind and brought uh, clarity of thought. And I think that one of them could also be the direction they were stirring their life into. It's like where they were taking it, where they were going. And they might have been lost for a while, but the transition was so impactful on your person that it has made them recognize that they they might have been too codependent on you to fulfill themselves fulfill them and their heart they've had to really pull themselves back a little bit and be like okay you know what you you can't be so reliable or so codependent you you can't be so reliant or It's just the energy of being codependent. They were expecting that if this connection comes in their life, everything would just work out. We have the hermit, Virgo energy again. Um, You see, I think this person has dealt with something pretty major recently. Um, With the... Eight of Cups. This Eight of Cups is a very catchy card in your reading. Um, it has the same owl. It's like thinking about why past relationships might have not worked out. See, King and Queen of Swords. Counterpart. So I'm going to complete the first message. Um, it's like they were thinking a lot about how other people have left their life and they ended up feeling lonely and betrayed. But somewhere they may be thinking about the silver lining of the specifics or past situations that mm, a lot of people didn't deserve them. And maybe their time was really over with those people. It didn't mean that they weren't good enough or they get left out in the cold. There's a perception, there's a perspective change that has taken place. And when it comes to the both of you, they have realized that you're a match to them in some shape or form. Um, and this connection has really helped them become the best version. It's like, I'm hearing them saying that this person with them, like this has got to be a true relationship because in the ways in which this has challenged me is... I can't compare it to anybody else. This has got to be very special to me. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this person has realized the importance of investing in themselves. They could have been in a phase prior to this revelation that they were too damn attached. They were putting... I wouldn't place it like putting all your... What's that? eggs in a basket but it's like um they should save some eggs for themselves i don't know how that makes sense but it's like they could be invested in you they can be invested in you but they shouldn't completely rely on you for their happiness and everything because that's unrealistic on their end and that's too much burden of pressure on you to make them happy in areas in which they are responsible for their own happiness right so 
We have gifted guide, star, chaos, opportunity. You don't need it all figured out. So I think that as much as there's this contra... Contradictory energy. My bad. I'm spacing out in your reading. Um, we have a shroom over here and a girl. Again, the feminine energy. It's almost like as much as this is contradictory to the fact that they didn't know where they were going. This person is someone that does require a focal point because they do have a very cerebral energy. They have air sign energy within them. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, which gives me that this person is driven by a focal point. They need something to keep advancing towards it. It gets boring for them if they don't feed their mind. For example, if if um, it could be a little bit boring for this person to be around people that aren't very intellectual or um, they're they're like a sapiosexual, I think. Um, or that could be a part of their personality and archetype. So as much as they like to have things figured out, this person gives me the energy of someone that might be a neat freak as well, you know, with the Virgo energy. And it's just like things need to be clean and aligned. And um, they like to label their books and in a color-coded manner or like, Something about them is very organized in a sense. So they require focal points. They like things to be compartmentalized. This connection could have been something that was difficult for them to compartmentalize. They couldn't put it in um, A, B, C, D box. Like, this is a good connection. This is a bad connection. No, this is a divine connection. No, this is a karmic connection. You know what I mean? It's like this connection just doesn't have a label. So they've kind of had to accept the fact that sometimes it makes them feel bad. Sometimes it makes them feel really blessed. Sometimes it makes them feel shitty. It makes them feel all sorts of things over here. But they cannot deny that they have a soul connection with you, you know. Um, they cannot deny that. And I feel like one message that I keep hearing is that they think about you every goddamn day. And I think what they have understood about this connection is that they don't have to have it figured out. Like this has come to them if it's helped them release um a lot of um maybe attachment to you and control controlling energy where they were like no this needs to work out this needs to work out because if it doesn't then am i not good enough or things like that it's like now this person has learned to detach their value from you which is a good thing and i feel like you might have experienced the same somewhere in your life um i just feel like i really do feel like this was this is a very this person has really been through it during the full moon and they will they there's this energy of concealment they're not showing it to anyone as much as they've been suffering alone and there's a sense of uh, taking a step back and even if they're out there in public or they're roaming around and they're doing things there's this part of them that is completely reserved and is constantly thinking about things and they're quite um, introspective at this point it, it, I'm hearing it's been going on for two weeks like this connection believe you me it's really changing things within them and it's turning their world upside down like there's just a sense of I feel like this person feels like they are the best person that they can take advice from. There's almost this sense of like they trust themselves. See, there's there's gray areas in life. It's not always black and white. And that's what I try to tell you guys. Somebody could be experiencing... um ranges of emotions and somewhere they could be very secure within themselves and some parts of them they could be very insecure that's just a part of being human you don't get a hundred percent of everything so it could be that they really trust themselves and the hermit i feel like a real like they fall back on themselves that is a very good trait they trust themselves 
so they're kind of counting on themselves to figure out what it is what they need to do but in terms of realizations and everything i'm really going to tell you that this is a very introspective analogy this is just i took some time to put myself back on the pedestal i might have put you there but i forgot that i am the love of my life um, in that sense it's not a sassy energy it's just what is important um i like this energy i feel like i appreciate what this person does scrying intuition so this card almost is about to get ruined by my nails again intuition i'm telling you it's it's all about them they're all about themselves right now it might be a little selfish for you but it's like i see them doing what's right for them in the moment it could be what they feel that they're supposed to do i'm hearing what they're good at they're very they're this is a shape shifter they're, they're very good at um i feel like this person is good at changing themselves they are good at it that's what i'm hearing they're good at it or they're getting the hang of it they see the opportunity at hand they want to grow that's what i said right momento mori this card comes out a lot so life present depth presence depth the meaning is in the middle i told you 22 there's always you know black white and then there's gray in the middle so they are relying more on their spiritual side they're still doing everything they're supposed to do but this is someone that has visibly disconnected from the world a little bit they're more fixated on what they need to do in order to it's not that they stop loving you i heard that they need to do in order to have you but it's like they might have really struggled you never know how much somebody has struggled with some sort of attachment that came out and there's a sense of like this person was really struggling with the fact that they felt like they really needed you and that's what they are finally setting themselves free from so kudos to a person by number two they have manage to free themselves from something it could be that you know they used to overthink about you a lot i feel like that's possible that they constantly used to ruminate about you thinking when it will happen or what will happen knowing everything about it i'm gonna pull out a few channel messages to conclude this if you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from this information is given down below I feel like I'm going to get a commitment card. I don't know how to make this situation better. I feel like this person is a pretty... Um, they are good with their masculine and feminine energies because I see how this person is doing their day-to-day -day chores. Um, but they're also keeping a part of them reserved to figure out what is really going on with them right now in your situation i feel like they are more in a feminine energy they're not thinking about doing anything i'm feeling the consequences of my actions i feel like this is about their past take how they resonate with you i want to express what i want but i don't know if you want the same if you could see yourself the way i see you thank you spirit this confirms how they still feel there's this sense of, oh, this card fell out, dark night of the soul. There's a sense of feeling like they are not worthy of love. And I think it comes from their parents, how they, their parents. It's almost like this energy of having to be what the parents tell them to be or having to do certain things in order to get what they want from their parents. It's it's not like love it's it's like spirit is giving me the image of having to do a job in exchange for money it's like having to earn love from their parents and family 
I wish we met at a different time in our lives. I care about how other people perceive us. There's a sense of hiding this connection from other people, not because they're ashamed of you or something, but they can't express to their friends how they really feel about you because they feel so much, but nothing seems to be moving. I can't handle your words. I've shut down. Lastly, I have cried over you. Oh. So we have, I pushed you away because I didn't want to get heartbroken. Okay, pile number two, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I read hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comments section how that resonated. Information for personal readings is given down below. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye. Hello pile number three, if you chose the 12th house, this is going to be your reading. But what has your person realized? What type of a breakthrough they've had? So this is about karma, this is about transcendence, this is a very deep... Um, I feel like in your person's perspective this seems like a karmic situation it's like i immediately feel like this person might have felt like they are going through this because of what they've put you through i feel guided to shuffle this deck even though i have a pre-shuffle card This person, I'm hearing the word skittish. They think that whatever they know is right, is what I'm hearing. They have two cards. Okay, they want me to take this one. So we have the card 36, 9. Could you surrender a, a bit more? Oh my god, you know what I read? Could you suffer a little bit more? The seeker, all seeing eye, spirit release. I don't know what this person is done, but spirit is whooping their ass. I really feel like some sort of karmic justice has taken place over here. It's like it was really guided by the divine, and I don't know why spirit is laughing in my head. Because, like, whenever I talk in the language that, you know, spirit is or the mood that they're in, or something like that. It's like, some people tend to get offended that it's not funny. Why are you laughing? So I just had to mention that. No, your person had to go through this, this is what I just know. I'm going to begin off with the tarot deck. We're going to jump right into it, see exactly what have they realized, what's up with them. I f I f I'm hearing so many words like repentance, paying for it, try paying price for it, something of that sort. For like one or two, you found this reading and you're watching it for someone that's like a friend. Someone that you didn't have a romantic relationship with. So let's see. What have they realized? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo is very strong. I'm going to place cards as I feel guided to put them, okay? Four of Pentacles, Death in Reverse, Scorpio. Upright, The Magician. Three of Wands.
Oh, that's why I had to cut the deck. It's already the worst. Emperor. Hmm. Two of Wands. The Moon. Wow, a lot of major arcana. We have Scorpio, we have Gemini Virgo, we have Emperor Aries, Moon Cancer. Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups and the Four of Wands. Okay. I'm gonna take a minute tap into this energy. So I feel like this was someone that was, um, I don't think this was a connection that was um, up in the air. Um, by that I mean it was not a very strong no contact situation. It could have been possible that they were in and out of your relation, uh, out of your life. But this is not someone that you have a newer connection with. And you have not explored or you don't know them. No, I think you spend time with them, you know them. You know about their um, light and dark attributes. Basically, you have experience with this person. This is not a new, new connection that I would say. Um, just had to get that out of the way. Um, I feel like whoever this person is, they really played with your emotions. They were playing with, they were playing games with you, or they were just doing. They were acting really funny, okay. And I think that they took. Not just you for granted, but they thought that this soul will not be um, noticed or they won't have... It's like they just forgot about karma and doing people wrong. It's like you're walking around in the world thinking that there's no such thing as paying back for how you treat people. What goes around comes around. And I think that at a deeper level, this is someone that... Four of Pentacles and the um, Emperor is this energy of recognizing that I'm going to go out there on a limb and say if, well, this does look like um, Goddess Lakshmi. She brings in wealth, prosperity. And I'm really seeing this as this person juggling you with other people. Or other options, not taking you very seriously. Options could be anything, but I do pick up that this... Either it is money, or it's other people. There's two categories, okay? Um, and this comes from a fear of losing out, um, being left out. Going broke as well. That's what I'm hearing. So if they were quite money-minded, if they used to always just be doing work, focusing upon their career, it's like I see this person's... I'm hearing something about a glass breaking, which is a metaphor for uh, some sort of illusion that has broken. But I feel like this person, this person's worst fears might have come true. And I think that a lot of this realization in terms of karma being restored is based off not giving you commitment. Knowing that it really, really bothers you. Knowing that you have very deep feelings for them. Knowing that this is wrong. Knowing that you are literally waiting. Um, you are trusting in them. You are seeing the good in them. You are trying your level best to keep up with their shenanigans, keep up with their excuses. You are waiting. And I feel like your loyalty was um, just not being rewarded in terms of this person. But I feel like your spirit guides became a little bit fed up or like very fed up like 
it's like the universe whooping this person's ass because they're like they're not even stretching it they took it too far knowing that this is wrong knowing that this is not just you being confused or wounded at this point you're just playing with another person's feelings so i feel like the full moon was a very strong striking truth um something that i feel like resulted in their own guilt conscious eating them up um having realized this this person could have gone hermit could have become a little bit depressed two of wands in reverse could also indicate that this connection could have ended and there's a sense of shame shame within them like i've lost them i feel for them but i'm still confused like wow um i really feel like this person put it to the ring or because i have not read such a such an energy in a really long time it makes me feel like very very deep painful experiences have resurfaced for the both of you in terms of love life parents and how this connection is a pure reflection of your darker side three of wands this keeps giving me the energy that this person could not make a decision and now that you've left they're still not doing anything i really really want to be honest because i think if i'm honest and maybe to an extent it might sound a little bit hurtful to your feelings um like oh my person can't be that bad like you know or you feel like you want to bash me up i honestly i can't do anything about that i just i'm just going to read the energy if you don't like it you can simply choose not to accept it right there's free will it's a general reading but i just feel like this is someone who has no shame for honestly how much they they this is the that energy where you have feelings but you just know they're not the one i'm sorry like this is like and i feel like you should also know this that when somebody is not for you they wouldn't put you through the ringer like they have and i don't want to hurt your sentiments because i know that there's something that that is keeping you over here you're not purposely trying to put yourself through this because this is not just about the realizations i feel like i'm really getting a very like a very top view i'm getting to see the situation from a larger perspective where i can really tell you if somebody is putting you through so much they're not serious about you and the fact that they've lost you and still they're sitting on the fence about like whether do they really want you or they know that you're walking away makes me feel as if like this is wrong and i'm not saying this out of judgment like this situation i'm telling you this can happen to anyone that's why i feel like i'm touching base with your shadow this is not the whole lot of you this is not me saying that you're immature i just feel like the situation caught the worst of you the situation reflects the worst of you you know which means that if you hit that rock bottom it means there's only going up now but i just really want to tell you that this is not a good situation no matter how anybody else paints it for you I don't know it went from being funny to aggressive real quick because like I see you know I can pick up on the energy I don't know what your person has done but like the this type of energy it's gender non specific whether they're a man or a woman it's just unfair and I wouldn't put all the blame on them because like you're also participating willfully but then again I can also see that this situation traps you because of your trauma not because you willingly want to suffer through this
graveyard unnecessary fear i told you fear traps you and you are accepting the love that you think you deserve and so is this person again in terms of this person i feel like there is coming they're reaching to a point after this full moon where they have acknowledged that they've lost you i don't know if you're talking to them or not but they do feel like they have lost you and it's finally hit them and i think that this person is thinking about communicating but i think that a lot of you it's for you a lot of you it's possible they might not reach out i'm going to be very honest yet again um you know sometimes it's not easy to like tell the other person the truth because you know how much it can hurt them because it's not like i am not um understanding or if i have not experienced something like this so i know how much it can hurt but it's like you have to separate your personal emotions from the situation and this one makes me really angry because this is this is the type of situation even if you were my friend and when you were sitting next to me i'd be so overwhelmed but i'd be like like i can't do anything to help you because this is your battle i can't do anything about it you know and i feel like um since i'm not getting a lot about this person's realization i'm just going to read it like i do um what i'm best at is just going with the energy that i pick up i'm going to tell you that this person is going to still stall it um and i'm not going to paint a pretty picture and tell you that oh their you know spirit is protecting you from this no this person is choosing to do that um it's very clear i feel like with three of wands in the reverse i can just say that they do recognize and they're disappointed that this did not did not happen um but it's almost like they caused it and i think that just one little good thing that is out of this whole breakthrough full moon in karma and 12th house and everything is that at least that they do recognize that they shouldn't play with your feelings anymore they shouldn't do this anymore um magician and the moon tells me that they know they do know that there was a psychic connection or they knew that there was telepathy or there were there was a very strong connection that they may have used it at their advantage to reel you in i feel like this is a very avoidant personality and they're a runner they run away from their problems they'll go drinking they'll go hang out with friends they'll go gamble they'll take a vacation they'll they'll do drugs i don't know they'll uh, go out and you know be on dating apps they'll do something to just run away from their problems and i just feel like it concludes at the at a point where the where their guilt is eating them up that they have really done wrong and there was this energy of like taking your feelings too lightly at one point you know like i'm not saying that they didn't care about you and i don't know how they felt about you and i'm hearing from the spirit that they have confessed their feelings they've told you that they love you they like you they really care for you i feel like that is true but what is the quality of relationship that they're offering you what is the experience that they're giving you that them saying that they love you okay fine agreed i understand that you do love me but then the quality of the relationship that you are getting from them and you stay is the love that you think you deserve now that is on you how they treat because it's not a lie if they're saying that they love you but it's a completely different uh, it's a completely different ball game and you know experience in terms of how they show their love you know it's like it's not about feelings it's about like how they show their love that is what is fucked up in this situation it's it's never about feelings it's about how people treat you and that is something again you can get overwhelmed about but you have to accept that that is something you cannot do anything about because because you can't save other people 
the empress. You question whether do they see your worth, do they... I'm just going to tell you this. Sometimes it's got nothing to do with your worth. Sometimes it's literally... I feel so emotional because I can understand this feeling. Sometimes we just roam around in the world thinking like, why would that person just talk to us when it's like... 120,000 percent times it's just their own bullshit and people like us just get so consumed by looking at the goodness in other people which is great but it's like it's got to be 20 percent of the time 80 percent of the time you've got to be looking out for yourself because that 50 50 thing that's what gets you stuck in situations like this I think I'm gonna try to pull out a little bit more about this person's thoughts and feelings at this moment This is the Judgment Libra. This is like, you know, the basic right away. It's like trumpet blowing and like an image of God. The Holy Spirit is like announcing, calling your person out in the field called out. I don't know. Sometimes karma has a very funny way of uh, hitting people, right? It never really forgets an address, no matter where you go. So it could be that somebody did the same thing to them, or it's like their worst fear came alive. That's what I'm hearing. It could have been in terms of money or anything that they used it as a badge of honor. Um, for somebody, I'm seeing a car. Maybe this person is really into cars, and um. I don't know, this person like portrays themselves sometimes to be a little gangster or a thug. This is a very optional message. It's like, I don't know, it's like they did you dirty and spirit did them dirty as well. That's the energy that I feel. When I tap into the energy, it's like, There's this energy of being ashamed and embarrassed that I hope nobody gets to know what happened to me or what I did, star. And you were always the star and the fool over here with the Ten of Cups. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. And now they, they want this. So it could be a progressional energy that what I was picking up before and the aftermath of it. Page of Pentacles, but what they always come in with is a text. See, I told you two of Pentacles. Energy doesn't lie. There's always this back and forth energy. They're never in, they're never out, they're always stuck. And that's what with people like them, you have to make a choice to shut the door, you know, because they never make up their mind. The lover, Aphrodite, passion, abundance. It is safe to surrender to the good feeling. Seven. So now they're finally accepting their feelings for you. Now they're realizing that you are someone that I keep hearing the word thugs it out. So like basically they're thinking you're their Bonnie to their Clyde and things like that. It's like I don't know. I I just feel like this person is a little deluded, honestly. No offense, but it's like they they just think that now they've had this realization. And for some of you, if this is what you really want to stick with, it's completely fine. But it seems like they they keep coming to conclusions in their own head, and they're not in touch with reality. So they're kind of skipping through all the damage that has been done. And they're like, okay, now maybe I'll get back with them because like they're the best one. They're the... Again, I hear they're the one that thugs it out. Like they're the one that, you know, can get me through rough days and they're the one that's going to be loyal to me. They know that. I just feel like they're not mature enough to stay in touch with the reality that they they it's like you know they're reminding me of that quote that 
if you want an angel, you should know that angels don't stay in heaven. So they're kind of thinking that you never get the same person twice, even in the same person. So it's like they're forgetting everything that they might have put you through and thinking that things might go back being normal to being normal. That's what baffles me over here. That's why I said this person is a little bit, you know, up in the air. They're not really touching base with the reality and the intensity of maybe the damage that they've done. Transformation. I'm going to clarify this because your reading is quite all over the place. What is this transformation? Two of Cups. Two of Swords. Two of Wands in reverse. A Star in reverse. They know that they've got to change. I'm hearing this person has cried over you. I'm just hearing from Spirit is not a safe place for you anymore. It seems like during this time they might have put you through a lot. To They put you through a lot of subconscious tests. Are you going to leave me now? I did that. Are you going to leave me now? It's like purposely putting you through shit to see what is your mm, limit. I just heard he sees his mother in you for whoever that is. So this person subconsciously put you through shit to see when will you leave them. And I think at some point you actually did. And that's what made them realize, oh shit, I really put them through too much. Okay, so pile number three. I'm going to conclude this reading by pulling out a few channel messages from my self-curated oracle deck. If you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from this... All information is given down below. I'm not over how things went down in my past. I want to give this a real chance. I want to go the distance with you. I'm willing to make amends. Dark Knight of the Soul. We had the transformation card. So I feel like this has definitely... The realization has definitely hit them quite hard. I told my family about you. I just heard my homeboys. What is this person? Like, why do they talk in that language? Please take me back. I enjoy talking to you and spending time with you. I've cried over you. Yep. Thank you, Spirit. This means that I was pretty spot on. Pile number three. I'm going to leave your reading here. I really do hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button, subscribe for more, hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. Information for personal readings is given down below and I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number four. If you chose the Jupiter card, this is going to be your reading. What are your person's full moon breakthrough realizations? So this is um, grow and expand Jupiter. This is a very, this is growing out of your shell. So I feel like this is the aftermath of a lot of lessons having, um, it's almost like this um, energy that I feel that this could be a newer connection. There's two possible scenarios. Either this person has been through a lot with you and they're realizing this or this person has been through a lot with other people and you were a newer person in their life and now they have 
this now they have this maturity and this realization whatever it is they understand the sensitivity of relationships at this point in their life and there's something about communication that i pick up that this person has realized that they're not very good at I said sensitivity, nice. So I always love when that happens. It just gives me a little bit more, you know, um, confirmation and confidence in what I am talking about, right? So this is the energy of someone that realizes the importance of relationships at this point in their life. This is someone that has really grown. I'm going to tell you that. Um... I think this is someone that, okay, um, I keep hearing the word maturity and I'm picking up on a couple of signs, Leo, Venus and Leo, Scorpio rising, Taurus rising, Taurus moon, Gemini rising. Virgo, Sun moon rising, Pisces moon. Gemini Moon. One thing that I do pick up about this person is that they're a pretty complex person. And I'm not saying that, you know, in any negative connotation, I'm just saying that all of us are complex humans. But over here, this is someone that um, you can't easily figure out. They have understood that about themselves as well. And they feel the need one realization that they've really had is that they need to open up more and communicate more they really need to level up or bring their a game when it comes to you is what i'm hearing this is a very masculine energy gender non-specific it just means someone that is getting ready to embody that energy it could be that um before this full moon, they were in this phase of ruminating, pondering, sulking, wondering, crying over spilled milk. I feel like the full moon has brought them into a breakthrough energy. It's like a power through. You know how they show it in movies? Something of that sort. It's like, it's literally a power through where that victim mentality is finally broken. And now there's like, it's like suddenly they just woke up and they realized like that's a procedure but it takes you a couple of months of hard works to reach that night of where you achieve overnight success in an order so this is that it, it had been happening brewing inside for a really long time almost like distilled water stagnant water and now there's almost this energy of they started becoming the person that they used to imagine to be so as a human, they might not notice this has happened to them, but it's literally like they feel more empowered within themselves. It's almost like this energy of constantly sulking. That's what I hear. Either they used to keep crying about what had happened in their past, and I'm not being insensitive because it's just a way of saying. Um, I'll phrase it as like dwelling. They used to keep dwelling about what has happened to them in the past. This happened, that happened, you know. Poor me. And things like that. A lot of things that with their, with their their mentality was in a form that this happened to me. That happened to me. That was my fault. But yeah, the, I did that because that happened to me. There was like very less accountability in just understanding that you have control in life. Not the toxic control where you're controlling things out of fear. You control things that you can control. The first thing you can control is your mind. So they might have been spending a lot of energy in trying to control physical things that they can see, touch, feel. Instead of the thoughts that they could have spent the time in controlling. And this is not about what they could have done, even though we are discovering that. But this is also very related to the fact that they did not know. They were kind of oblivious to the fact that they have control over how they see life, basically.
I also feel that another message is that this person is sensitive and they're realizing that about themselves. So because they're realizing this about themselves, they might have been, again, a little bit blind to how deeply they do feel. There's a strong water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm just going to dive into their realization. This could be someone that is in their mid-twenties, that's what I'm hearing, specifically, and they could be pretty occupied with their job, their career. That is one of their main priorities. It had been non-negotiable for them. Queen of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands, Spirit of Cups, um, Knight of Cups, Four of Wands in reverse. This is a very um, action-oriented energy. It's like sudden breakthrough. That's what I said, right? I feel guided to take this in the reverse. So I'm going to place it how I feel guided to take it. Ten of Wands. In reverse, death in reverse, six of swords in reverse, upright reverse, upright, six of swords upright, freedom in reverse, chariot in reverse, seven of pentacles and two of swords. I already feel like why is this two of swords here it could be about that they couldn't decide what to do about this connection three of wands i feel like this person was pushing it in the future this connection i feel like this person was pushing their worthiness in the future as well queen of wands in the reverse is an insecure mm. It's more of a possessive energy. Ten of Wands in reverse could be that there's almost like this sense of unattainability that they felt towards you that this person, no way, they're not going to be with me or why would they choose me? And they were, I feel like this person kept on comparing their, your social media life. Like, if this is a newer person, um, see how this message fits in, okay? It's like they constantly kept on looking at your social media and they would sit and compare, like they would be comparing your best moments with their worst. That's how I'm hearing it. Like they're sitting in their, I don't know, in their PJs or something and they're just checking out your social media where you're all prim and proper. You're putting your best out there, right? Um, and they're co kind of comparing that and they're thinking like, oh, they will never be with me. It's like unfair evaluation. Um, and with the Ten of Wands in reverse, this gives me that this person is releasing a very heavy burden of not feeling worthy, which seems like now it's somewhere coming to... Now it's coming to an end. I'm constantly comparing myself to them and it's not healthy. I'm just looking at them like they're a prized possession, like... They kind of took out the human facet out from you and made you like a perfect picture, which is unhealthy because like when you put somebody in that bracket of perfection, you're taking away their flaws from them. Like you're expecting perfection from them, which is one thing that I hear from spirit that we knew that this person struggles with. And if you had been with them before, you might have seen something that was a little... Um, mean about this person because if they expect some perfection out of themselves they will not be very forgiving of your imperfections they they might indirectly you know honestly i feel like when perfection is over there you get turned off by people you're unrealistically like you're living with and you're in love with the idea of that person you're not even giving them a chance to be who they are so i think that can be very problematic when you're doing that with any any because you're doing that with yourself so you're bound to do that with another person 
The death in reverse, this is Scorpio in chariot again, Cancer. This is again watery energy, nine of wands in the death in reverse. They have realized that they were not. They thought that they were letting go of their guard, but they were not. There's a lot of things in, there was this pattern that your person was going around and round in, in their own head about themselves. And this was almost about the full moon. Like it could be that, you know, four nights before the full moon, three nights before the full moon, when it's reaching, like the energy is like amplifying. It's gaining a lot of momentum. It's like a few nights before they started like feeling that maybe they're just thinking about these things, but they're not actually feeling those emotions. And that's why trapped emotions are coming out as thoughts and information and messages from the nervous system to the mind, which is creating a rut. Because you're not actually processing it. You're not allowing yourself to feel it. You're just thinking about it and you're thinking like, oh, I'm healing through it. But you're actually intellectualizing it too much. At one point, you have to just let it be for what it is rather than thinking what it could be and what it should be. So it could be that they were thinking a lot about what they, you know, thought it should be like or what their relationship with you should have been like or what they should have done. But they were not really feeling it. The thing that I see over here is that they've realized that they were not feeling it. They were not... It's like when um, some sort of purge took place on the full moon or around the full moon. It's like they might have cried. They might have just had a very big outburst. They might have just felt really sad around the full moon, okay? It's it's almost giving that... And if you watch this reading in the future, it's just about their person's real, your person's realizations uh, before and after a specific time you find this reading. So you can just ignore the full moon part of it. But... It's it's like um, they might have cried about this and their past experiences. And, you know, like sometimes when you just have an outburst and you feel like a child yourself. So it's like this person might have had a purge and they realized, oh, now I feel better. So they were kind of able to, I'm picking up like they were kind of able to see the difference between intellectualizing and somewhere um, really feeling those emotions. I'm seeing triple nine over here. That is again an ending of a cycle almost approaching the end of it so i think that one thing that was really really weighing on this person's mind that was pulling them down is almost a sense of competitive energy as well feeling like you might have too many people around or you can find somebody else better what is so special about them that you would choose them so that could also be a reason why they were not approaching you this is a very clear energy I'm not having to think as much as I had to in previous three piles. And this is also very fast-paced energy. So it tells me, again, this all of these things, if you, if you listen to certain things beyond the words, you can actually understand the meaning of things a little bit more intricately. So that's what I feel over here, that the energy is really speaking to me rather than just the words about this person's energy. So I think that they have had very, I think that this is the pile which this person has actually benefited from this breakthrough because they might have had a lot of brain clutter that really had to be discarded. And I think that the death in reverse really tells me about unresolved issues or um, they're avoiding to let go of a version of you as well. Something that needs to be somewhere sacrificed for you to have a new beginning. And the thing is that they really, really wanted want a relationship with you. Knight of Cups, Six of Swords. I want to move past this. I want to move past this. But the only cards that are actually upright are Nine of Wands. Knight of Cups, Six of Swords. I actually want to get past myself. It's like the only... If you've been getting readings, 99% um, of uh, you, I think you're watching readings where maybe they're saying there's a third party, they're not able to come forward, their career is a problem, their mother is a problem, their father is a problem, their girlfriend is a problem. I don't know. 99% um, of the time, I feel like what you're picking up in other readings is just this person being the third party in their own life. I don't think... I think this is a complex yet a simple person. I think that they go to work, they meet their friends, they go out partying, they they talk to people, they find attractive. It's, it's very simple. There's not much to read about it. But 
the complexity that I picked up is that they are complex for themselves to understand sometimes, which all of us face. So I'm not sure how these words really fit in, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason why Spirit is saying this. Um, so with the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups, it's like they've been wanting this so badly with you. I feel that um, it's just like um, the Seven of Pentacles gives you this energy that, you know, he or he has already got everything. Why would they pick me? And the, if you see, if you see, it's like self-sabotage. You're yourself rejecting yourself. You, you know, that person is not saying anything. But there's a possibility that this person didn't even try to approach you properly. There is a possibility over here. Or if they were talking to you, they were not completely taking as much interest as they'd like to. Or they were not putting in much effort. That probably gave you this... They, they might have given you this impression that they're not that into you. For a few of you, you were forced to let go of the situation because it was kind of making you a little bit crazy in the head. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this person? It's all about their own blockages. And I think that you've been having to wait for a really long time. On the other end, I'm very curious and I feel guided to do this. Okay. You're telling me to use another deck and see what happened with you because I think it will connect me to something. I want to see what was your recent realization because there's a sense of like, I feel like you got fed up of the situation. It's possible. You just got tired of waiting, knowing that they like you, knowing that they care for you, but they just can't come forward because they don't believe in themselves. Strength. Hierophant reverse, Taurus, Leo. Oh, this is an interesting turn. Six of Wands and the Three of Cups, your energy. You are being guided to know that just because it's not happening right now, it doesn't mean it won't happen later on. So it, it, it forced you to release control on the timing of this situation. Even though you knew that this is a good connection, even though you knew this is an intense one, even though you knew this is your soulmate, you knew, you knew, you knew. But the thing is that holding on to this person was driving you crazy. It was making you feel like, when are they going to come? I think you also had to work on your mental clutter that you were thinking like, you know, the person that I like, they never really pick me. I don't think that they're going to come for me. There's also a little bit of mirroring. That's why I feel like I felt guided to pull out your cards. Because I almost sense that somewhere, because this person was deceptive. And I don't mean in the sense that they were doing anything wrong. They were actually just sabotaging. Seven of Swords does include that energy of self-sabotage. It makes me feel like you were taking all of that personally. It was pulling you down, their energy, and your energies are pretty entangled. So I feel like maybe you were picking up on their thoughts. I think you had to become strong in this decision that it happens when it happens and I have no control over it. So they're telling me that the Four of Wands in the reverse with the Chariot in reverse has yet again resulted in this energy in this person that they because of your detachment they've become even more worried about this this is probably why this is a complex situation because you face something it had a ripple effect in their energy because you're connected right it made them feel even more detached from you scared that they've lost you now nine of swords more sleepless nights more worry but you know what happened by that detach detachment it forced them to face their fear of unworthiness it's like once you feel like you've lost something you can't lose it again when you didn't really lose it but you know what i mean like it's like they felt like they had lost you and then it helped them regain sense of self-control. Both of you were very consumed by your dark attributes. So basically this 
situation first started off with a lot of strong purges, realizations, childhood wounds, past relationship. It's like a very deep clean that took place over here. I feel guided to ask again, what are their realizations now? What are their realizations? I feel like I'm picking up on a process. It's like one thing happened, then I took out your cards, and then I'm taking out their cards. It's like a sequel. That's what I said in the beginning. Their realizations. Nine of Cups. You were in the needy energy and now you're in a non-needy but I still want you energy, right? They were in a very needy energy, now they're in a energy of realizing like, oh, I don't need them anymore. So there's almost like this detachment which was so necessary because the both of you were very consumed by each other. It's like now they're, they're detached, they're a little bit more at ease with their life. They're a little bit more at ease with their feelings, their fears, and they're noticing. I'm hearing that they're noticing that they still have love for you. They still find you that attractive. They still see the same qualities they used to before. They're realizing that this is true love for them. Eight of Wands. That they really want to make this happen. I'm hearing for some of you that this person wants to make you meet their parents and the queen of wands upright if you stick through it by number four and this is applies to anything in life if you stick and this is just a reminder not that i don't think you know this but it's just like i feel the need to say that if you stick through it any sort of karmic energy you don't always know the answer at first but if you just stick through it if you just feel it long enough, automatically you will know how to turn it around. You will know how to make that. Anything that feels dark and heavy, you will know how to turn that into light and transmute it. Basically, this was a Queen of Wands that was in reverse, a dark attribute, a karmic energy. Queen of Wands that I saw upright. That's why they told me to take another deck because they wanted us to notice that that there's change, there's transmutation that is taking place for this person. Page of Swords still stalking you. That's what I'm telling you. It's like they're still noticing how they still have love for you. Eight of Cups. There is a good recognition of the fact that the work is not done but they don't need to be perfect in order to pursue you. Queen of Cups. This has brought back their femininity. It has opened their heart. It's like they were, you know, they are sensitive. But maybe growing up, um, they had to shut that down. They disconnected a little bit from that part of themselves. You see, Nine of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups. The irony over here is that the Nine of Cups is in a reverse energy, which means that they thought that they had everything that they wanted, but they're realizing that this is not the nine. Just because the number is greater, it doesn't mean it's a good number. I hope that makes sense. It's just like it's a nine and then there's an eight. It doesn't mean that just because the number is like a greater number, you're moving ahead in life. I really hope you catch that. Um, it's, it's, it's just, oh, we have ten underneath. It's like just because you're moving forward in life, it looks like it doesn't mean it's actually making you happy. It makes me think that this person is realizing that they need to take a little bit of step back. Even if they need to take a little bit of time to themselves, start over again, they need to realize what actually makes them happy. Because even if it's a six of cups, it's still making them genuinely happy. The number is not that great. So it means that it has to be true happiness. Some It's like, it's like a quality over quantity, basically. So... It's something that is pretty major for this person. Six of Cups. Four of Cups, okay. So, Eight of Wands. I feel like this person is not telling um, a lot of people what their plans are. They're keeping this closely to their chest. And where they might have been holding back communication. Five of Cups. 
king of France. It was because they were ruminating, they were dwelling too much into what has happened to them in the past. And I feel like this person is feeling more up to the beat, feeling more confident. I feel like if you have been stuck in the cycle with this person for a really long time where they are very inactive and they're very passive and they're very stuck with their own fears and they don't know what to do, I think this reading, if it finds you, it's a very good uh, confirmation about the fact that that energy is something that they are passing through. Now, I don't know when this completely happens. I don't know. This is just a message to give you hope that this person that you're connected with, you keep doing you. But still, sometimes you try to check in with them. You are curious. You feel for them, right? I completely understand. And that's where this reading just comes as a little bit of... I feel like... um assurance that they are moving past it can't predict the future but it just is a token of i don't know what is it a token is not the right word it's just some small reassurance that they are moving past it and they are working on it you never know when you actually end up hearing from this person right it's like you need to cure it um solutions for your situation till the time you feel like either you have completely exited out of it because it seems like this person's feelings of unworthiness it's it's not just them it could be that this connection and it is 99 percent of the time it is true that maybe this is um the situation is a physical manifestation of both of your thought beliefs thought and beliefs about yourself Because somewhere you cannot deny that you're matching up with them on an energetic level as well. I think one thing that is very common between the both of you is these are these walls around your heart. That tend to make you picky. No, that's not good in them. It's mainly because you're scared to get your heart broken. Nothing is good enough when we're just looking for excuses, you know. Ten of Swords, so end of the cycle for both of you. I'm really gonna say that. The world, these two cards are the same. The judgment and the world. Both of you are just looking licking your wounds right now, looking at yourselves. I really feel like this cycle is coming to an end between the both of you. Probably about inaction. And uh, it, this is the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, which tells me Pisces. And I was about to say Cancer. So cancer, might be, cancer might be important. Now I'm feeling a little bit difficult in talking. I feel like the energy is like slowing down now. When they do come back, and if they do, because I feel like this person is pretty determined. I don't think you will know. They will. They will kind of. They will catch you by surprise. You might have a contract with this person where you help them out of something and they help you out of something, but indirectly, you don't really know that both of you are helping each other out of something. But it seems like this time around when this person comes, it might be that, you know, they help you out of something. They just uplift you in spirits. That's what I'm picking up. A portal, adventure, ancestors, calling. There's something about calling. So they know you're in their north node. They've realized this. They, they have a sense of feeling like you're their destiny. Are you ready? So they might have felt like they're not ready. No, no, no. I'm not ready for this. No, 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 no. I feel like now they feel ready. I feel much more ready. This is like, I feel like this reading is just for you in terms of like realizing that yes, things are always changing and that's a good thing, right? Nothing ever stays the same. So in your case, it's in the best possible manner where it was the same. You would love to know that it's changing. That's what I feel. What else can you know? Because this person doesn't have just one thing that they're realizing, you know. I'm having to pull out cards again and again because I feel like there's more, there's more, there's more. Nine of Pentacles. Ah, oh, at last we have death and eight of pentacles. What they were resisting to let go of before they've realized it's 
Sometimes your ego will have you crying behind closed doors that have nothing behind them. Those are the most valuable words that I also apply in my own life. Sometimes you tend to cry over things that you've lost or you think that it looks so great or wow and then you realize like what was so even spe- what was so special about it? Really. The whale, the future, this is so connected because this is the energy of like I don't know what's coming in the future. They were scared of the future, letting go of their past because they were so attached to who they used to be because it used to be predictable. Now it's unpredictable and they feel strong. I see like spiritual muscle over here in the sense that they have grown from this situation. Really, really have grown from it. All right. So pile number four, I'm going to pull out a few channel messages from my self-curated oracle deck. If you wish to book a personal reading or get messages from this information is given down below. Okay, before that, Spirit wants to really say something about this person's current thoughts is what I'm hearing. This star in reverse in the five of cups, Aquarius energy. Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. I just heard this person will be coming back. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. They've got some money issues, something that's probably legal. But don't doubt their feelings, that's what they want you to know. They have a lot of um, cord cutting that they're doing from their past. They're, I mean, I mean, I just heard I'm deleting all their numbers. Um, maybe their hookups or something like that. There's a lot of lifestyle changes that they're trying to make right now, and uh, Spirit is very proud of them as well. I'm hearing Spirit is very proud of them. I'm hearing Spirit wants you to be proud of them as well because they they know it. They can feel it in energy. Um, that's what they're saying. Your person really wants you to be proud of them, the amount of changes that they've made. They will not tell you how many changes they've made for you in order to have this. But they know that you were divinely sent in their life and they have so much appreciation. It's almost like if you've had previous connections in your life, these soulmate kinds, um, I feel like this is one person that Spirit wants you to know that this is a person that actually can is mature enough at this level that they recognize you being as someone that they recognize the maturity in you, they recognize the beauty in you, not just on the face value, but they they really like who you are as a person and um they really appreciate the fact that you know your worth and you're not sitting around wasting your time trying to bicker about it or convince somebody. You act on it and you're confident and you're very silent and they notice that about you and they're very attracted to that. Um, because of the way that you have conducted yourself around them, it makes them feel like there's something about the fact that either you had a very sh- brief conversation with them, a short conversation, and you didn't say much and you kind of walked out on them because you knew that they're not up to par to your standards. That really left a very, very, very big impression on them. Um, because I feel like with the Six of Wands, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, it's like they knew that they were not giving enough to you. And they also somewhere knew that you were not um, completely healed. But instead of um, projecting on them, or I, I really heard, you know, the word that I heard is barking at them. Like, I, I know that's not the right word, but it kind of makes me feel like it's not, it's not uh, like they're, they're, um, yeah, well, but it's not like they're um, abusing you with that word. But it's like some people take it too far when they project on the other person. And they're like, you don't see my worth. Like, you know, I'm this, I'm that. But people who actually believe in that, they don't talk about it so much. I'm sorry if that hurts. But that's the truth. When somebody believes in themselves that they're all that, you know, they don't have to be talking and telling 10 people like, I'm that and you should treat me like that. So you left very, very, it's like your silence and um, I don't know, a brief conversation is what I'm hearing about. And like those 10 words left an impression of 10,000 words on them. Like they just know that, I don't know, you're the one for them. You're very elegant, 
very elegant and now Jimmy is what I'm picking up. So we have I can't resist the draw. If you could see yourself the way I see you, you're different than others I've been with. I think this 10,000 word impression is right here. You can't fix me by pouring into me. I need to fix myself. They knew that you recognized that about themselves, th about them and yourself and you walked away. Your words hurt me. I don't know if you call this person arrogant. That really hurt them. And they liked it. I'm purging my wounds. I feel like I blew my shot with you. And I hate the distance with between us. I really feel like something good is going to come out of the situation. By number four, I really feel a good energy about this. I feel like this person is going to take some... They have a very catty energy. Like, I want what's mine. I like that. So pile number four, I'm going to leave this reading here. I really do hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more at the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how the resonated information for personal readings is given down below. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye.